What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another installment of Fandom Rants, man. I'm back with the king of ranting himself, the one and only Daryl Blackston, my cousin. What's going on, man? What's up, man? We're back again, man, with another episode, man. We have fun on the Fandom Rant episode. If you got guys got something you want us to rant about, please let us know in the comments below. You can email me at fandomanonymous17 at gmail.com. That's F-A-N-D-O-M-S-A-N-O-N-Y M-O-U-S 17 at gmail.com. You got something you want us to rant about, let us know in the comments or email me. I promise you we will rant about it. We will rant about it even if we don't know anything about it. We will look at it and find something to pick at it about just to talk, just to rant. There are so many things that we can rant about. Today we're ranting about something that's been a part of me. I know me and my cousin's lives, lives a long, long time, you know. Good old GameStop. Mm. Apparently GameStop is closing some stores all over the country, and they did it to themselves. They want to be cheap exactly. every time. You try to go in there and trade in a game. You just bought that game. They tell you, oh, I'll give you $10 for it. No, I want the full uh, manufacturer's price. I want my $60. I paid $60 wait, 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 for this hold game, hold and on, I'm taking on, it back two days. Go minute. ahead. What game, what game stuff you went to, you got $10 for a game? What game stuff you <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Multiple games. <laughs> oh, okay. My bad. Okay. You got two dollars for a game. You're right about that, buddy. You're right about that, buddy. There ain't no game stop okay. gonna give you more, more money for just one game. You, you gotta give two dollars for a game. <laughs> you bring in twenty games, you know, you might get ten dollars if they all new games. You know, and you just all new games. Game. Gotta be brand new. <laughs> so there was hey, don't you know, as many times as as many times as me and you have gone into GameStop together, what are your thoughts on this closure of GameStop and, you know, our issues that we've had with GameStop over the years? Well, GameStop want to blame it on digital gaming. And digital gaming is taking over. Digital is probably the best way to go now. But no, no. GameStop, they give you pennies on a dollar for games. You know, you can bring in a new, fresh game and – they, they they give you pennies for it. Now I don't know if people know about this right here. This was um, um my Alabama thing. It used to be a place called Game Exchange. Do you remember that? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now Game Exchange, how they used to work is gaming have, have scales. Like Grand Theft Auto, Smash Brothers, or Mario Party. Those would be level five games. And level five gets you probably maybe thirty to forty bucks for a game. You know, and it, it just got a, a scaling system. I think that's how GameStop should work. But GameStop don't want to work there because they're too cheap. You know, they're going to buy too your, cheap. yeah, they'll buy, buy your $60 game and give you maybe 250 for it and go sell it back for $40. Maybe so, 45 at the most. <laughs> yeah. If it's Smash Brothers or, you know, Mario Party, yeah, they get forty nine. They get forty nine dollars for it. Yeah, you you get you get some money. If it's it has to be a titular game. It has to be and then on, in order to get that much though there, you gotta have the original case. Mm-hmm. No scratches on the case. We haven't mm-hmm. even got to the disc yet. No scratches on the case. The original case. No cracks in the case. We still mm-hmm. on the case now. The original paper has to be in the case. That mm-hmm. can't be tore up. The plastic that covers the case can't be tore up. There can't be any anything wrong with the hinges. Now we we open in the case now. You know, look, you know when you open a game case and it clasps together, that can't be broke. Okay. Now we're in the case. We need the original instructional manual in the case that has not been bended, folded, torn, wet, uh, Kool Aid stains, uh, snack stains from when you're playing games. The original instructional manual needs to be in the case. Now we can get to the disc. The disc mm-hmm. has to be perfect. No scratches, no dust, no marks, no fingerprint, no nothing. It has to look like you just took the plastic off of it. Sometimes they might not even give it to you unless you can put the plastic back on it yourself. So that's the only way you can get 
big value money at GameStop is if you bring a game back in perfect mint condition. That means that you go buy the game and you keep the plastic on it and then you come bring it back just to get some money. Yeah, and GameStop is not even a good sort of shopping. Like, let's say you want to go buy some electronics. If you buy a headset out of there, I can say this from experience. You buy a headset out of there, okay, you got seven days to probably get your full refund back. But the only way you can get your full refund is the box itself can't even have a toy in the box. So that means you got to open up real, real careful. It cannot have no, uh-huh. no tape torn off, even for the, the electronics. And then they only give you uh, seven days. Seven days to get your now, full reason, refund back. After 30 days, the reason for that might be... you... Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so now uh, in 30 days, they'll give you an in-store credit. They'll give you that. But like I said, that's not even good to buy electronics from Walmart. You can bring your somebody from Walmart, you know, hey, with the control Ragged broken, <laughs> Ragged, anything in Walmart because see Walmart loves their customers. And they're, they're going to give you a full refund. Now, if you don't got a receipt, Walmart's going to say, okay, we'll give you a Walmart gift card and you can buy anything out of store. Like that gift card. <laughs> GameStop, oh, GameStop ain't doing that. Oh, this controller broke and you only had it three days? Oh, we can't do nothing with it. But, yeah, but. We can't I, do nothing with it. Days. We can't do nothing with it. But I want the warranty. But your warranty doesn't cover physical damage. <laughs> what? See, one of, the, one of the things about that is, you know, they don't have a large stock. That raggedy box that you bring back to Walmart, I guarantee you they got 250 more of them in the back waiting to be put on the shelf. So it don't bother them. They'll just take that raggedy box, throw the little stag- tag on it, and put it on the clearance table in the electronic section. GameStop can't do that because that one headset that you bought, they may have only had 10 of them. So, you know, with them only having 10, they need to. They want to have ten again, and ten in a whole wholesome look. So you bring them back a raggedy box. They can't do nothing with that. They can't resell it because the next person gonna come and say, "I don't want a raggedy box. I want a brand new fresh box." I'm gonna tell you what I get from GameStop now. I go. I go in GameStop for pops. I collect pops. That's what I buy at GameStop now. Uh, you won't see me buying no games. I don't even have a system for what they sell games for. No, they sell Wii games still at GameStop, but that's starting to get slim, too. It's starting to phase out. They go on the next thing you know, it's only going to be Wii U and Switch games at GameStop. So, you know, that's what I go to GameStop for. I go to GameStop to buy my Funko Pop vinyl. You know, they got, they had my Power Ranger Pops when I went to go buy those. They And, you know, they, they always have good Pop vinyl. But as far as games, and stuff like that, you know, I never get me to get a game out of GameStop. I have oh. a thrift store. There's a thrift store here in my area where I get more money for trading stuff in than I've ever gotten at GameStop. And they have vintage games. They have old games, new games. And their store credit goes a long way because that old, that newer Wii game that I don't want anymore that I take back to them, I can go over there in the back section and get an old school Nintendo GameCube game that I used to love to play back in the day. So I can't do that at GameStop. They they take my look at my GameCube game and say oh, we don't take these anymore. You know, so it's like these these mom and pop game stores. Or really another thing that's gonna kick that's kicking GameStop out because they'll take anything. They'll take you your old game, systems, your old consoles. You they'll take your into, old everything. Get, GameStop is gonna be the new blockbuster. Okay, that's what's gonna happen to GameStop. They're gonna turn to blockbuster. Okay, y'all gonna get put out of uh, business by vending machines. That's what's gonna happen to GameStop. Mark my words. Because no one's even want to go to GameStop for anything no more. Okay, everybody's buying nope. all the games digital. Everybody buying all the games digital now, and you know for electronics they are going to Best Buy or Walmart. Okay, and Best Buy is starting to sell you games. True, that's true. But guys, we thank you for joining our rant again on another episode or installment of Fandom Rant. Again, if you don't know who we are, we're Fandoms Anonymous. That's F-A-N-D-O-M-S-A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S. We're all over social media. Check out the name. Uh, follow us on Facebook at Fandoms Anonymous, just as it's spelled. 
Go over to Twitter at anonymous underscore fan seventeen. Head over to Instagram at fabulous underscore anonymous seventeen. Don't forget to check out some of our new series and our playlists on the YouTube channel. Check out the one on one series. Check out more from the fandom rant series. And the brand new fandom mail series where we're doing unboxing for things that we receive in the mail. So, guys, thanks, Daryl, for joining us again today. And if there is anything else, guys, have a good one. And thanks for watching.